the first step to learning English is to memorize a lot of English words. I mean, your vocabulary should be uh, as hefty as you can. Okay? I will request you or I will advise you to avoid watching English movies at the initial stage because you will fail to understand what they are saying in different movies, English movies. And that particular factor will disappoint you severely. And so you will uh, stop learning English. Therefore, first try to know as many words as you can. Uh, of course, from different sources you can learn English. You can read newspapers, though at the initial stage it will be difficult for you to make out exactly what the report uh, deals with. But still, you can learn some stray words from there, some loose words from there, and then start using those words loosely. Because uh, now still you have not uh, studied grammar, therefore it is uh, quite out of the question for you to construct grammatically correct sentences. But still, you can use a lot of uh, words loosely to mean something. Therefore, try to know as many words as uh, possible, especially corresponding to the words in your mother tongue. You may, uh, you, you may be a Bengali, you may be a Tamil, your uh, vernacular tongue may be Hindi, it doesn't matter. All the useful words of your language uh, have their corresponding English words. And try to know those English words, okay? And then I shall upload another video guiding you uh, to, uh, to your destination. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Hello dear friends, today it is uh, Diwali and therefore we know very well Diwali is the festival of lights. Let's learn a few idioms about light. Number one is uh, see the light, see the light, which means uh, to understand finally. For example, you have failed to understand something then you work hard and finally you understand and you say, oh now I see the light. And uh, next one is bring to light, bring to light means uh, to publish. For example, uh, I'm trying to bring a new book to light, I'm trying to publish a new book, then uh, eyes light up. Eyes light up. Eyes light up means to look or appear excited. So uh, I saw that uh, seeing that person, uh, his eyes uh, lit up. Lit up is a person's form of light or light it up. All right. Next one is uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Light at the end of the tunnel means to uh, have some hope or to see something good after a period of uh, something very uh, sorrowful, very troublesome. So finally, we saw the light at the end of the tunnel. Next one is out like a light. Out like a light means to uh, fall asleep very quickly or to lose consciousness very quickly. Um, at night, uh, he was so tired that he went to bed and was out like a light. And uh, next one is guiding light. Guiding light means a person who has a very uh, strong influence on you. For example, uh, my professor is my guiding light. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye. Gantaras is a festival of gold and silver. So on this occasion, it is better for us to learn a few English idioms about uh, gold and silver. Today, I'm going to tell you some idioms uh, about gold only. First one is, uh, all that glitters is not gold. All that is glossy is not expensive. This is the meaning of that particular line. Next is, a pot of gold. It's a very, very uh, profitable something. Something very, which uh, is very beneficial. For example, you've got a job with a very high pay package. You may tell others, oh, I have finally found a pot of gold. Then uh, next one is, golden handshake. Retirement, which means retirement uh, with a lot of uh, benefits. For example, his company has given him a gold golden handshake. His company has given him a golden handshake. Next one is worth its weight in gold, which means very uh, expensive or very valuable. For example, that uh, English dictionary, that old English dictionary is uh, worth its weight in gold. It's very expensive and rare. Next one is uh, the streets are paved with uh, gold. Uh, for example, it simply means a place where you can earn money very easily. A lot of money, of course. So uh, you may make a sentence this way. Why don't you go to America? There the streets are paved with gold. Because it is supposed that in America, it is very easy to earn a lot of bucks. Next one is a heart of gold. A heart of gold means kindness. Too much kindness. For example, uh, Mr. X has a heart of gold. Go to him uh, for any sort of financial help. He will not disappoint you. That's all. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.